Testing, one, two, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three.
Okay, good evening, members, and welcome to our council meeting on this beautiful sunny day. It's uh, great to see the room full tonight, and I welcome you all here to this meeting. Can I specifically welcome our new members? I think we have 14 new members uh, throughout our chamber here. You're all very welcome tonight to your first council meeting under AGM. I can assure you the window will be as short as this one, probably. So uh, if you could use to that as we go through, but you're all very, very welcome tonight uh, to our first council meeting. Can I also just at this stage pay tribute to those I think the former councillors, maybe the seven that stood for re-election and were unsuccessful. And once again, just to thank them for their service on their time here in ABC Council. <clears throat> and we just want to record those tonight. So, members, is there any apologies in agenda item one? Okay, members, we have no apologies. Uh, declarations of interest, we'll take them in the usual manner as we go through. I'm not sure there'll be any tonight, but if there are any declarations of interest, we can the kids go through. Members, my part in this meeting tonight is very short. Uh, we're on agenda item three, and it's outgoing remarks by myself. So if I could just make a few remarks uh, before we finish. Uh, so just members to start off, <coughs> Alderman, Councillors, uh, Chief Executive, and all the members of staff here in Armagh, Banbridge, Craig Avon Council. And I just said it's been such an honour to have had the privilege of being the first citizen of Armagh City, Banbridge and Craig Avon Borough Council. This last year has been one of the greatest but busiest times of my life. Uh, at the outset, I want to thank my family, particularly my wife Fiona, who we've had a very difficult start to my year uh, with the sad passing of her mother. But I want to just put on record my thanks to Fiona and my three children, Amy, Caleb, and Sophia, for all their love and support and allowing me to do this role to the best of my ability throughout this year. If it wasn't for them and their encouragement, it would have been a very, very difficult role. So I just want to place on record my thanks to them. Also to my mum and dad, who are my greatest supporters. And uh, I think the only people wanted to see me in the chain more than I wanted to see myself. Uh, and I, I know they're watching in online tonight and I hope, I hope uh, we've done them proud. I thank them for all their uh, support as well. And my two sisters, Anne and Naomi, and their families who were always there to support throughout the year. And we appreciate that. But I also thank my friend and colleague to my right here, uh, our Deputy Lord Mayor, Councillor Tim McLeod. I'm sure you'll agree, has done a great job this year. And thank you, Tim, for all the events you carried out as well. It has been a busy year, so thank you for that. To Roger and all the staff uh, in every department and depot right across this council, can I thank you all for your assistance and help making it a very enjoyable year and all the busyness that went on. So we just want to thank you all for your help. And I mean that to every member of staff and the organization to thank them. Some have asked me uh, in recent days, especially, what has your highlights been? And to be honest, I think it has changed at the end of most weeks. I keep thinking I've had a highlight and then I come home and I say how brilliant this event was and how wonderful this crowd was and how great the reception was. So I'm sure Fiona and the kids will be glad they don't have to hear about every event. I think they feel they've lived it every night when I come home, maybe fairly late on, still buzzing and the house is trying to be quiet. And I'm still talking about the crack we had at that reception or the fun we had tonight. So it has been definitely, uh, <clears throat> definitely been great uh, on many, many occasions. I've tried to attend as many events as possible throughout this year with a real emphasis on making whatever group from whatever background they came from uh, to, our, to the centre here or to any of our civic receptions or event uh, I've tried to make them really the centre of the of the civic reception because it is about our community here. And I hope this was felt by each of the groups at our civic receptions. And I also tried to include you all in the room tonight, those who were aldermen or councillors uh, on those occasions. And I uh, I know that the groups appreciated that all those who did attend the events appreciated the opportunity that you were given to show your appreciation, support and congratulations to that group that was in on that occasion. And I know this was well uh, received from the group. As I did say, it was a difficult start personally for us as a family, but my actual role as Lord Mayor started off with really with a bang. On the first event I went to was a Jubilee celebration in Millington School, and the kids were all out, standing out, waving flags, and I honestly thought, this is great, this is the way you get on as Lord Mayor, but I was quickly reminded it actually wasn't anything to do with me coming, uh, but it was a very, very, very good event. Uh, only one of the kids did ask me, was I the Queen's son? And what was I doing here? And I sort of thought, I could give them 20 years old, but uh, it was just how it started. And the kids, the whole way around, always kept you humble and kept you right. Uh, as a student Bambridge Rugby Club, that first one of the first Saturdays in June, and we even watched the Red Arrows fly past with thousands of our support in our armed forces. And to see the centre of Bambridge packed was really a great start. And I remember thinking then, if if it all ended now, we've had a great start of the year, and it really has uh, really went well ever since that. Uh, since June last year, it really has been all go. And I just want to thank Susan and April for their organization and guidance. I must talk a lot because it was the first few days, and I think it was with uh, Councillor Nelson, one of the first events I was at, and they were phoning me to say, you're meant to be at the next one. And then I got the next one, you're meant to be at the next one. So I think I talked too much or maybe more than others at the first few events, but we soon got onto the way of it. And I want to thank them 
uh, for all their help and support, not only in organizing me uh, and the many phone calls and emails each day, but also when working with all the groups. I know the groups really appreciated the effort that was put in by the team and the Lord Mayor's office to organize, to have them in, to get the numbers right and uh, meet the needs that were met at each of those occasions. So I want to thank them tonight as well. We have so many groups and volunteers who really are the life of our borough and the backbone who put in so many hours uh, to improve and help the life of others. And again, tonight, I want to thank them all for all they do as we did each each reception we had. And it was great to host so many receptions uh, and also to attend so many events right across the borough uh, throughout the year. I have to say the Christmas campaign this year was fantastic. And at one stage, my daughter, Sophia, who's 11, uh, said to my wife, Fiona, after watching some of the council social media, Mom, do you not think Dad's starting to enjoy us a bit too much? He's now singing Jingle Bells on the stage here. And uh, I think they were a bit embarrassed a few occasions, but it certainly was uh, great to attend the light switch on. So there was thousands of people gathered out. And maybe I think I turned on 12 or 14 different trees this year and lights. So it was just an absolute privilege to be involved in all those. We have an awful lot of good going on. And to be able to see firsthand what all really goes on from each area has been a real privilege. We really, I've really enjoyed and we really could be here all night if I started to talk about each event. I've enjoyed meeting so many church groups, sports groups, youth charity organizations, youth organizations, and many, many more. And I've met so many people who have, in their own way, left a lasting impression on me, and I wish them all well in the future. I'm delighted to report this morning as my last official engagement uh, was to present two chosen, my two chosen charities with checks for over 11,000 pounds each. I still can't believe this year we reached 22 and a half thousand pounds. And I wanna thank each one of you who supported the various charity events throughout the year not only to you who attended and who give generously and the public give generously, but also to those in the council who we couldn't have organized it without them. They put in an awful lot of work uh, to make sure it all happened. And I know that all the money will be put to good use by each of the charities, uh, be positive on the Southern Area Hospice. Indeed, it was humbling today to just hear a bit more again about each of the charities uh, and to hear how much they do appreciate this funding. So thank you on their behalf and on my behalf, thank you all. As I said, my year started with a high and there were so many memorable occasions throughout the year, but a real moment in history happened during my year and took place at the sad passing of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. It was such an honour for me to attend the proclamation as a read out in Hillsborough, along with her Chief Executive Roger, although we did get absolutely soaked that day. Uh, we hadn't much time to dry out as we came back down to the palace steps and the proclamation was read there, uh, and then to attend the service in St. Anne's Cathedral with her, when her new king arrived. These are all events that I will never forget personally. It really has been a fantastic experience over the year. And then to come near the end of the year with a visit from our new king and queen Dharma was really an unbelievable end to my term. It was such a privilege to host them both in Arma, to see Arma looking so well and the crowds out to welcome them. And uh, I just want to thank again all our staff and council for having the place looking so well and for the effort that was put in. And those who attended, I know everyone enjoyed uh, all the different facilities that went on that day. So as I finish, I just want again to put on record really all my thanks to our council staff uh, we have many great people who work in our organization and those who are so welcome here when we come to each night when the guests arrive at reception, the team who have fed me and some might say too well all year. Uh, I managed to get to my last reception before I really realized you don't have to eat at all of them, uh, but I've really enjoyed it uh, and it's been a fantastic year throughout. Even to the photographers, each one who has all their own lines and jokes, which I know them all off by heart now. And any of those who have been in the experience will know their lines and all their different jokes, but it has been great to have people that are supportive the whole way through the year. And a massive thank you to all the team and all those involved for their work and efforts. A big thank you to my own party colleagues. I want to thank them for putting their faith in me and selecting me to take on this role of Lord Mayor. I'm also so thankful for health and strength throughout my busy year. And thanks to my Lord and Saviour for guiding me each day throughout. Can I now take the opportunity to wish the new Lord Mayor and the Deputy Lord Mayor about to take office tonight every success for the year ahead. And may we all never underestimate the immense privilege it is to represent this wonderful borough here in ABC. So thank you to all who have supported me or played any part in my year as an office as Lord Mayor. Thank you. Okay, members, Alderman Baxter. Thank you, um, Lord Mayor. And it'll be strange. And the common day is not calling you Lord Mayor. And I've been calling you Lord Mayor all year, even when I when I, you know, when I'm on the phone, you're talking on a personal level as well. I've got that used to it. But just on behalf, like on behalf of our party, can I say, and I think I speak for everybody um, around me here, what a wonderful job um, that you've done this year. An excellent job um, as Lord Mayor. I've known you for, for many years, Paul, um, on a personal level. I've known you all my life, in fact. And you've always been, I suppose, like your dad before you had people person. And that's shown through no matter who you had in this chamber. 
no matter what group, what background, or whoever that came in to the various um, receptions that you had, you treated everybody equally. And I never heard a bad word. And I say that genuinely. And now you can't say that maybe every year, but genuinely never heard a bad word um, about your Lord Mayorship. And anyone that came into the chamber um, praised, praised you and how good you were, especially with people. And I think it's important that you put your stamp on Lord Mayor, um, as, as everybody does every year, and you certainly did. And that was as a people person and someone who, who reaches out to people and makes everybody feel welcome. And I think you've done that um, to the best of your ability. Um, you didn't hide your testimony or your faith, and that came through as well. And that was messages coming back to you. And you promoted that at every opportunity as well. So credit to you for that. You had a difficult start to the year, um, as you said, with the passing of your of your mother-in-law and you know just coming into Lord Mayor and having that and the added problem um that it was given that your mother-in-law wasn't even in the country and I know that was very very difficult um but you handled that um as well as could be expected and you really came through and um, not only for your family but for the constituents um of this borough um to your family I'm sure they'll be delighted for a couple of weeks anyway to get you home again I know Fiona's been a tower of strength to you. I know you've been a tower of strength to her um, in the difficult in the difficult few months, especially at the start um, of your year. And to your children, who I'm sure will be glad that you'll be back ferrying them about and taxiing as you do with teenage kids these days, taxiing and taking them here and taking them there. And the huge amount of money you raise for the charity, I don't think I've ever sat um, and heard about a Lord Mayor and Mayor before who has raised just as much. I know you put a super effort into that. And I know the two charities that you've chosen were very close to your heart as well. Um, so, yeah, you've done an excellent job, um, Lord Mayor. Um, delighted that you had the opportunity um, to do it. Um, I'm delighted that you've been such an ambassador, not only for our party, but indeed for the whole borough. Um, and I think other parties, and when they get their chance to speak, will say something similar because that's the message you came back from, from all sides of this chamber. So I wish you well as you come back to the benches. Down here, um, beside me for your sins for the next for the next while. Um, so look, all credit to you and and to thank you, and wish you well for your turn back on the benches and wish your family well as they have you back now. Um, back in Warren's time. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Baxter and Councillor Nelson. <laughs> thank you, Mayor and. Can I just on behalf of our Sinn Féin group and congratulate you on what was an absolutely fantastic and excellent year. I have to say you were a real credit as you represented the borough. You did it remarkably well. Um, you were very willing. I mean, we did ask you to do a number of events, to attend a number, myself in particular, and you were always so willing. And what I really loved it whenever I brought you to an event was the genuine interest that you showed in the group that we were meeting. So I can't thank you enough. You were very generous, I have to say, as well, as you know. I tapped the, the Lord Mayor's Fund a number of times for the greater good, um, but there was never a no. You really were extremely generous and very willing with both your time and your Lord Mayor's Fund. So I think you've done a great job. Um, we will miss you at that top table, uh, and I wish you well as you go back and get a wee bit of family time now, which um, I hope you enjoy, um, and very well done. Councillor Nelson and Councillor Thank you, uh, outgoing Lord Mayor. Could I also like to thank you for your year of service as the Lord Mayor? I, you, you, you did mention your your mother and father, and I've had the pleasure of knowing you and your mother and father long before you were even politics. And uh, it was it was great to see them at at several of the events. And and I think you're quite right. There sometimes. The Reverend Fred thought he was the Lord Mayor of the ABC because he was so proud of his son. Yes, it it, it was it was understandably mentioned about the difficult start. Her thoughts and prayers were with you at that time, and Fiona. And uh, we were glad that you continued to keep in your role, and you carried out a fantastic job uh, right from start to finish. Uh, you're one of those Lord Mayors that we'll, we'll, we'll never forget. And I think, as as uh, Alderman Baxter has has mentioned in relation to. Uh, the charities and the money raised, that speaks for itself of how well you were thought of, but also the charities. But in the manner in which you conducted yourself throughout the year, it has been said <coughs> you've been a tremendous ambassador and you served with great distinction and energy because you were in every part of the ABC uh, and at as many events as possible. And I would just like to thank you very much 
and and wish you all the best uh, and you and your family in the days ahead and also to Tim because I know he's going to say a few words but he saved me speaking twice done an exceptional job as well and like to wish him well thank you thank you Councillor Barry Alderman Burns <laughs> Thank you, Lord Mayor. Yes, I'd like to congratulate you as well on behalf of our, our party here. You did an excellent job and you represented the whole of the community. Um, and I have to say that any civic events where we were invited in, you did give everybody the opportunity to address the, the, the meeting as well. So you did, and that, that went down well with, with all the people that were there. Um, yes, a, a, a difficult start for you, but you got through the year with everybody's prayers and thoughts uh, to yourself and Fiona and your family. And congratulations on raising the amount of money you did for your two charities. And also to uh, Councillor McClellan there, like, like Councillor Barry said, well, well, he had a very good year as well. And I would like to thank him for all that he did. You guys both represented the borough very, very well. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Burns and Councillor Ferguson. Lord Mayor, um, the last year you have served all the people of the borough diligently and consistently and through very difficult times. Um, you showed an unwavering commitment to service and people. And if I may say, you delivered it with a really personal touch. On behalf of my party colleagues, um, we'd like to say our sincere thanks to you for the positive impact you have made as Lord Mayor. Thank you for your service to the residents of ABC and best wishes to your family and for the future. Thank you, Councillor Ferguson and Councillor O'Hanlon. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Lord Mayor. And can I join with others in thanking you for your year as Lord Mayor? And can I wish you, Fiona, and the, the family all the best for the future? I think you were, um, you, you set out to be a Lord Mayor for all and for everyone. And I think you lived that in word and deed. It was a pleasure to welcome you to, to Katie for the, the Christmas light switch on. And I think maybe that's one of the occasions when you sang jingle bells on the on the stage. But you, you stretched yourself both personally and politically through the year. Um, and I know um, I attended a number of events, one of which was for um, a number of local GAA teams. And you um, reached out the hand. You uh, were extremely gracious uh, uh, on the evening. And I know it went down very, very well. And people acknowledge your leadership uh, for the council. So can I thank you and wish you all the best for uh, the year ahead. And uh, the same with uh, Councillor McClelland as well. Thank you for uh, your efforts as, uh, as Deputy Lord Mayor. And I wish you uh, all the success in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Hanlon. Uh, Alderman Wilson. Yeah, just suppose as a former Lord Mayor would be remiss not to congratulate you on completing your term. Um, you've had a, an epic year, you know, in, in all ways. And it's been tremendous to see you promoting the borough right across um, ABC from the Kusher to, to Lagan River. And you've, you've done a really, really good job. And I just want to commend you for it. We've kept in touch quite a bit throughout the, the year. And I know you had your difficulties, as has been said. And, you know, many a time it's very, when you, you look at the length of your year, you had that, you know, um, difficult period right at the start and with what was in front of you and the, the sheer demands on your time and your family life. I'm sure you felt maybe it was it was quite a burden to bear, but you've, you've borne it very, very well and you've had a really positive year and I'm delighted for you and I'm proud of the contribution you've made as a former Lord Mayor and welcome to the, the ex-Lord Mayor's Club. You'll be very welcome. Thank you, uh, Alderman Anderson and Councillor Radcliffe. Um, Lord Mayor, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you. Um, I think you've done a fantastic job. And um, I was running a charity event on a very short notice. You were able to come along. It was for the Children's Cancer Unit in Belfast. And um, yourself and Alderman uh, Wilson came along to that. And um, the day was going quite well, but we were very short of people to go on the bikes. And I was very, very happy to see you two men coming along to jump on and take your turn. But all joking aside, I think you've done a fantastic job and I'm sure your whole family is very, very proud of you all. Um, and I just wish you all the best for your four years ahead here. And also, uh, 
Mr. McLennan there as well, Timmy. I congratulate you as well for all that you've done as deputy as well. I wish you both all the best for the year ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Rockford. Okay, members, uh, I will now vacate the chair. Could I just thank you all again for your support, for your kind comments tonight, and thank all those who have made my year such a great year. So thank you. Good evening, uh, members, and a, a warm welcome. Uh, we now move to item four on the agenda, which is to agree the appointment uh, of positions of responsibility, and you have a copy of uh, the various reports uh, that have been circulated in advance. Uh, in terms of uh, the positions of responsibility, as you'll see from the report, uh, the legislation sets out uh, the process and the method for uh, filling those. Um, there are a number of different methods uh, we are required to follow one of them, and the haunt is uh, the default method uh, that does apply in the legislation. It is the method that we have used previously in 2015 and 2019, and uh, after all of the party meetings that we've had over the last couple of uh, weeks, members, uh, that is the, the method that is being recommended uh, this evening. Uh, you also have uh, members uh, schedule off the positions of responsibility uh, as well. Um, so what I would need, uh, members, is a proposer and a seconder that we agree uh, the to hunt uh, as the, the method for filling the positions of responsibility, uh, and then also to agree the positions of responsibility, and then we have uh, run the to hunt uh, calculation. You have that in your papers as well. So thirdly, it is to agree uh, those particular allocations. So if I could have a proposer and a, a seconder uh, for that. Please, uh, Councillor Kennedy has proposed, and uh, Councillor Donnelly has seconded. Uh, thank you uh, very much for that. That being uh, the case, then when we turn to the, the schedule of uh, allocations, uh, the position of Lord Mayor in Year One falls to the Democratic Unionist Party, and I would now call on uh, the party's nominating officer, uh, Councillor Mark Baxter. Uh, to provide his nomination uh, for the position of Lord Mayor for the year uh, com commencing. Uh, Councillor Baxter. I was going to say thank you, Lord Mayor, but that isn't the right title. Um, thank you, um, Chief Executive. Um, it gives me a great pleasure um, tonight to um, propose officially this person for the for the job and the elevation um, to Lord Mayor of this borough. It's always usually the, the worst kept secret every year when we get to this stage. Um, but I don't think it'll come as any surprise that I am nominating tonight the name of Councillor um, Margaret Tinsley. Margaret has been involved in, in politics, I think, during the party long before I was. She was certainly involved in politics before she was involved in frontline politics and has been elected now um, for a number of years and has made a real impact um, in her area of central Craigavon, coming back with a resounding vote just recently at the last election. And um, there are several reasons for that, and the main reason being that Margaret um, is a formidable lady and is known as a woman who gets things done. If you want anything done, you ask Margaret. And I've just put down a few words there when I think of Margaret, what, what, what words come to mind and as diligent and loyal and a very sound um, Christian lady who puts um, God first in everything that she does. And I've no doubt that the incoming year, that'll be no different. She is very passionate about her family and um, very passionate about young people and youth and is always working um, with those people throughout the community and does a huge amount um, in, in our community, far too much to go into this evening, but it's a great pleasure um, for me tonight to officially nominate um, Margaret as our nominee um, to elevate her to the position of Lord Mayor um, of this borough. And to her, I, I wish her well as she takes up the position. To her husband, Jim, her daughter, Anna, and her son, James, and to other family members I know who are here tonight um, in the chamber, we wish you well, um, as you maybe just won't say as much as your, your mom and your, your wife over the next 
over the next 12 months. But I know one thing, I know that Margaret will take this position as Paul did before her, um, with every sincerity that the, the role requires, and she will do the job to the best of her ability. And I have no doubt that she will do an excellent job in the incoming year. So as I said, it gives me great pleasure to propose the name of Councillor Margaret Tensley. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Executive, and um, good evening, everyone. Um, firstly, I want to add my congratulations and thanks to the comments um, regarding our Lord Mayor, our former Lord Mayor, my friend, Paul Greenfield. What a fantastic year you had representing everyone in our community. You were an absolute credit to this council, and we, your DUP colleagues, are very proud of you. You did an amazing job while also raising thousands of pounds for your charity. And can I also thank my party colleagues for all their lovely messages of support and encouragement to me following my party nomination um, over the weekend. I genuinely really appreciate every single one of them. My family, I'm delighted tonight that my mom, dad and father-in-law are here tonight. They're sitting in this audience tonight, the public gallery, and they probably have no idea what's going on and throughout all of these proceedings, but I'm absolutely delighted that they're here tonight and I know that they are very happy for me tonight. Thank you. To Jim, my husband, who is my absolute rock and support, couldn't do this without him. And my children, James and Anna, I'm so proud of you both. Your love and encouragement to your mom no one would ever believe how brilliant you both are. And I could never even consider this role without the support of all of you three and at home. My sincere thanks to the constituents who elected me last month, giving me the honor and the privilege to serve the Craigavon DEA for a third term. Anyone who knows me will know that I am community driven. I am passionate about our borough and all the people who live here. And I will do everything possible throughout my mural year to support people, promote the work of our community groups, volunteers, and you know, just recognize those individual acts of kindness. My mural charity. I have chosen Charis, the, uh, the Cancer Center. This is based in a beautiful, peaceful setting outside of Cookstown and has a great team of staff and volunteers who offer anyone who is over 18, who has been diagnosed with cancer, every form of support you can ever imagine. I had never actually heard of this charity until last year. One of my closest friends was diagnosed with breast cancer. Now she's now doing really well. However, she will continue on preventative medication for the next five years. But my friend during her cancer journey was offered treatment, support, advice um, throughout this time. And she was offered a, a session of reflexology. I'm just gonna take a drink here, Deputy Lord. Thank you. Um, she was actually invited not to have to go alone, but that to take a friend along with her to support her. And I was very blessed to accompany her for six months during this time and witness firsthand the caring support by all of the team. So it was very hard to describe how much it lifted my friend each month 
um, and, and just what this centre did for her in terms of advice, support and treatments. And they've actually worked with over 10,000 people across Northern Ireland diagnosed with cancer since it actually opened its doors. It costs approximately £400,000 a year to run as all their services are free. And I genuinely hope to work very closely with the charity to raise funds and support the great work they do in the incoming year. Finally, you'll be glad to hear. For me, it is an absolute honour to have been elected as Lord Mayor of Armagh, Banbridge and Craigavon Council today. I pray the Lord will give me the wisdom, health and strength to continue the work of previous mayors, promoting the opportunities that exist in our borough, and we will continue to deliver for people and businesses. Thank you all. So members, I'm going to hand over to um, the Deputy Lord Mayor for his closing remarks. Lord Mayor, Margaret, my friend, may I firstly congratulate you on becoming our Lord Mayor. I know that you will do a fantastic job for our borough during the upcoming year, and may I wish you God's richest blessing for every day of your term. Lord Mayor, members, being Deputy Mayor has been an immense honour and privilege for me. I've thoroughly enjoyed my year out and about across the borough, whether it was Achnaskek or Akagallan, or whether it was Katie or Kate's Bridge, and many more places in between, our borough was well and truly covered during the past year. Can I pay tribute to my friend and colleague and now former Lord Mayor Paul Greenfield for his year as our first citizen. It was a pleasure to work with you. Thank you, my friend. It must have been the regular strategy meetings in the Rose Hip that made for a successful year. All the members, for some reason, it was always, it always seemed to be the Deputy Lord Mayor who paid. So there's some degree of concern there. But anyway, members, make, making a difference especially within the rural parts of our borough were a key theme for me during my term as Deputy Lord Mayor. It was great to host community and church groups within this building, and that helped to recognize the great work that these groups do. And also it was a way of bringing council and all the council does closer to our, our citizens. And indeed it was astonishing how few people had actually ever been in this building. A huge thank you to all, all our council officers for their help and assistance during the past year. A special thanks to Susan and April in the Lord Mayor's office for all their help and advice and assistance. This was really appreciated. Thanks, members, are also due to my party colleagues for putting their faith in me for the post of Deputy Lord Mayor, and I suppose I hope and trust that I haven't let you down. I must also thank my wife, Karen, and my children for all their support and encouragement during the past 12 months, and I hope to be at home slightly more often in the coming months, so members, there's less need for either a name badge or a cardboard cutout in our house up ahead, but I was very pleased that Karen was well enough to be able to attend several events toward the end of my term. Again, I, I say thank you to her after what was a challenging health diagnosis. Really, really appreciated. Members, I will draw my remarks to a close by highlighting several huge moments for me during the past year. These were meeting His Majesty King Charles III and Queen Camilla in Armagh a few weeks ago. It was co-hosting along with our Lord Mayor, the Coronation Tea Party in the Seagull, where we had over 400 people in attendance at what was a fabulous afternoon. And thirdly, members, being able to make a substantial donation to the Cancer Fund for Children from my Deputy Lord Mayor Fund. Members, we as a family stayed in Daisy Lodge near Newcastle during the past Easter break, 
what a fantastic facility, a charity that's very close to my heart. Lord Mayor, I finished with a quote that I heard a number of years ago, and it goes something like this. We are here for a brief, brief space, but while we are here, we should brighten and better the place. And I think as elected representatives, we should all be mindful of this. That's me. Thank you. Thank you, De former Deputy Lord Mayor, and well done for your year. Well done. Um, I'm going to invite um, Councillor Baxter. Thank you, um, Lord Mayor. I'll have to get used to that too now. <laughs> oh, good. But I'm sure we will do. Um, yeah, look, as a fellow Lagan River councillor, I want to pay tribute to my friend and colleague, um, Tim. Um, Tim on council over the last term has been a very measured voice um, within our group meetings. Sits back and, and takes things in, takes things in, but always has a very strategic approach um, to everything that he does. But not just on behalf of the party that I want to pay tribute to him and thank him. Um, for his excellent year as Deputy Lord Mayor. But I think I can speak on behalf of the constituents um, of Lagan River as well, who Tim genuinely has taken. Um, they've taken Tim to their heart. Um, Tim doubled his vote um, at the last election. And that's no mean feat by any means. But the work ethic that Tim has in their constituency, the understanding he has for the rural community, um, with his own background. And Lagan River, as we know, is a very rural constituency. And I don't think there's anybody that understands it um, as well as Tim does. And that was certainly very evident um, over the last six weeks in particular throughout the election campaign. Um, so I want to pay tribute to Tim. He's done an excellent job. Tim, in what? You've had some difficult circumstances. Um, and to have the year that you have had and to promote those charities, um, that you've, that you've done as well. It's a testament to you and your work ethic and your understanding of the community that you represent. So I wish you well, and I wish Karen well, um, as she has you back um, at home, and to the children, I wish you well. And for your for your term here, your well-earned term, over the next four years, back on the benches. Um, thank you. Thank you, Councillor Baxter. Councillor Nelson? Thank you, Mayor, and can I just take this opportunity to wish you well in the year ahead and congratulations on your appointment. Um, Councillor McClelland, um, congratulations on a very successful year as Deputy Mayor. I know that I find you very warm in your approach. You have been extremely and incredibly charitable, um, and I know that you've attended a number of events that we have requested as well, so I can't thank you enough for that, and I hope you too now get to enjoy a little bit of downtime with your family. So congratulations. Thank you, Councillor Nelson. And can I call on Councillor Johnston? Thank you, Lord Mayor. And um, just on behalf of my party, I'd like to congratulate the Deputy Lord Mayor um, on a successful year in the role. I know that you have put the rural community groups and associations at the forefront of your time as Deputy Lord Mayor, not just in RDF, Lag and River, but right across the ABC. And I know how valuable um, that support was for them. So we wish you well um, and your family as well um, for the future as you return this side of the chamber. And to you, Lord Mayor, best wishes for your future in the role. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Councillor Nelson, and thank you, Councillor Johnson, for those kind words. Um, there's no more lights now on, so I'm going to hand over to 4.5 on the agenda, and that is the appointment of the Deputy Lord Mayor for the incoming year, and I'm going to hand over to the Chief Executive. Thank you, Lord Mayor, and uh, as we have already agreed the schedule, uh, that means that the position of Deputy Lord Mayor for year one uh, falls to Sinn Féin. And I would now invite uh, the party's nominating officer, uh, Councillor Catherine Nelson, uh, to provide the nomination for the position of Deputy Lord Mayor for the incoming year. Oh. 
Lois Tierney. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Executive. Um, I have to say it gives me real pride tonight to nominate not just a party colleague, but a friend, aka my bestie, Councillor Sorka McGoon, um, to be our Deputy Mayor for the incoming year. This is Sorka's second term uh, as a representative for Lurgan, and I really have watched her grow and flourish into the elected rep role, and she's really done herself proud. During her last term, she showed great empathy, compassion, and true leadership. She's a real grafter for the community she represents, and already in her short time has made a lasting impact. She volunteers for a number of charities, and like so many things that Sorka does, she does it quietly, never seeking limelight, always under the radar. Sorka cares about the families within the entire borough that, that she will represent in the coming year, the local communities that she will visit, and the businesses that she will advocate for right across the borough, and I've no doubt that she really will work for all. Um, I take great pride, not only because she's a female, but also a Republican denominator for this position. I want to wish her well in the incoming year. She's going to have huge support around her. She'll have um, our party grouping. She will have the fa her family who are here um, in the chamber to see this. It's a very special moment for the family tonight and a really proud moment. And I know her dad's here tonight, former councillor Noel McGoan, and I'm sure he is just beaming over there with pride for his daughter and as he should be. Um, I genuinely believe that the borough really will benefit with Sorka in such a leading role. Um, and we want to wish her all the best and assure that we will be here to put our arms around her and support her. So congratulations and Sorka is our nomination. I am honoured to have been selected as Deputy Mayor of Armagh, Bombrays and Craigavon Council. I want to thank, thank the outgoing Mayor and Deputy Mayor for their work and leadership throughout the year. I want to add my congratulations to your incoming Mayor, Councillor Tinsley. I look forward to working with you. I look forward to working with everyone to deliver on the issues that matter to the people of this council area. As a young woman, I want to be the voice for equality and integrity for the people of this borough. I witness on a daily basis the challenges workers and families face because of the cost of living crisis. And I want to give them a voice. I want to make a positive difference. Working together, we can build a better future for all our people. We can make this borough a great place to live and work. And lastly, I want to thank my family and my party colleagues for their support over the last four years. I would not be sitting here today without them. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor McCone and Councillor Lavery has indicated. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Uh, just on behalf of my party colleagues, wish the West, uh, wish uh, Councillor McGoan or Deputy Lord Mayor McGoan uh, the very best uh, in her term of office. Having worked with her over the last four years, a number of projects, it was going to be an absolutely fantastic job uh, to be a representative of the whole borough. It's good to see some from the Lurgan D up in that up in that top table there. So in Sorka, all the very best from us here. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Lavery. Councillor O'Hanlon. Thank you, uh, Lord Mayor. And can I congratulate uh, both uh, yourself and the Deputy Lord Mayor on your elevation to, to both posts tonight? And I wish you uh, every uh, health and success in the year ahead. Thank you. And thank you for those kind words, um, Councillor O'Hanlon. I'm just going now on to 4.7 to hand over to the Chief Executive for appointment of other positions of responsibility. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Uh, the remaining positions of responsibility are essentially uh, those chairs, vice chairs, and uh, the, the couple of other uh, positions as well. Uh, and Lord Mayor, we would need a, a proposer and a seconder to uh, agree and to accept those. So 
get a proposer and seconder, Lord Mayor. Yes, Alderman Baxter. Oh, sorry, Councillor Baxter. Preempted. So proposed. Alderman Burns, thank you. Um, I, uh, agenda item number five, then the appointment of Alderman. Again, the Chief Executive is going to take this through. Thank you, uh, Lord Mayor. Uh, members will be aware that this is a, a borough council and uh, right at the very start of the life of the council, uh, the decision was taken to use the Armagh uh, borough charter and as such, uh, the council is permitted to elect a quarter, uh, 10 of its members uh, to be aldermen uh, of the council. Um, we have included with the papers a copy of uh, the relevant legislation that provides for the nominations uh, for the position of alderman which states that if the number uh, of aldermen exceeds 10, then uh, they are filled as a result of an election at the annual meeting. Uh, Lord Mayor, to note, uh, all nominations uh, need to be proposed and seconded, but also uh, the nominees must assent uh, to their nomination as well. And the appointments are for a four year term. So Lord Mayor, uh, we would need uh, nominations of names uh, of 10, uh, councillors, and if we exceed 10, then we would have to have an election. Okay, thank you, Chief Executive. Councillor Baxter, you indicated first. Thank you, um, Lord Mayor. As nominating officer for the party, um, I have seven nominations for the title um, of Alderman. And I will say it's a bit bizarre um, proposing yourself for one of them, but I'm told by the Chief Executive that's what I have to do. So. Um, besides myself, then, as a, an official proposal, we have the names of Councillor Wilson, Councillor Greenfield, Councillor Stephen Moutry, um, the Lord Mayor, um, Councillor Tinsley, um, Councillor Rankin, and Councillor Paul Barry. As well, please. Um, Councillor Baxter, um, could you just clarify which Councillor Wilson we've to? Thank you. If you just let me flick a coin here, Councillor. <laughs> Councillor Gath, Councillor Gath Wilson. Thank you. Thank, thank you for that, Councillor um, Baxter. Could we have a seconder for those seven names, please? Um, Councillor Greenfield, thank you. And Councillor Burns. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Can I propose Councillor Barr, Councillor Kennedy, and myself for R3? Okay. And again, Councillor Burns, could I have a seconder for that, please? Um, Councillor Barr, thank you. Did I need to verbally say that, Wendy? Is that okay? That's great. Right. Thank you. Um, well, there's no other lights on, members. So, um, Chief Executive, do we go back to each individual member? Okay. So, myself, I'm content to accept that. Thank you. And Councillor Baxter, could you just... Yep. Councillor Rankin, could you verbally accept? Is that acceptable or has it to be verbal? verbal? It has to be verbal, so I will call you in now, Councillor. Yes, Lord Mayor. Councillor Wilson. <laughs> yes, Lord Mayor. Councillor Greenfield. Yes, Lord Mayor. Councillor Barr. Yes, Madam Lord Mayor, and have a great year.
Councillor Barr, thank you very much for that. Um, Councillor Burns. Mm -hmm. Bruce, do you mind if I try to make contact? Councillor Moutry, are you? Yes, Lord Mayor. Is actually on. Yes, you accept too, Councillor Moudry? Yes, Lord Mayor. Yes, Lord Mayor. Yes, thank you for that. My apologies for that, uh, Councillor Burns. Is just, um, he's actually on holiday at the moment, so. <laughs> oh. Yes, Lord Mayor. <laughs> Sorry. Right. My apologies. Um, Councillor Barry, I did not hear your name on the DUP ranks. <laughs> yes, Lord Mayor. Okay, so that's all the appointments then, members, for the aldermen. Um, I appreciate your patience on that, and I apologise to the public gallery. The delay, we have to wait until the face is on the screen before we can actually, um, and there's a slight delay there. Otherwise, members in the um, that's listening in via the social media can't hear. So um, there's that's hence that little bit of a delay. So we're moving on now um, to... Uh, Agenda item number six, and again, I'm handing over to the Chief Executive for appointment to committee. Thank you, Lord Mayor. And again, members have a copy of the report in front of them. And as you will see, there are six standing uh, committees. Uh, it has been the, the practice in previous years that the quota of greatest remainder is the method that is used for appointing. And that was in March 2015 and May uh, 2019. Lord Mayor, we have uh, been working obviously with the parties uh, in the background in advance of this meeting and there, I understand broad agreement that it is the quota of greatest remainder within the pack. Uh, Lord Mayor, there is uh, the allocation of committees based on uh, the results of the election and then we also have the names of the members to be appointed uh, to each of those committees. So Lord Mayor, uh, there would again need to be a proposer and a second or an agreement uh, for those three elements using the quota of greatest remainder, the allocation and the members being appointed. Thank you, Chief Executive. And could I call in Alderman Baxter now? Happy to propose, Lord Mayor. Can I have someone to second that? I think perhaps Alderman Kennedy, could you just put your light on? I think we have to have that verbally just for the record. Yeah, just give me a second. Have it second, Lord Mayor. Appreciate that. Thank you. Right, so moving members on, uh, we're almost at the end. We're almost there. Agenda item number seven, report to outside committees. Um, again, I'm handing over to the Chief Executive. Thank you, Lord Mayor. And yes, as part of our annual meeting, uh, we make nominations to outside bodies. Uh, those who have been uh, with Council on the previous two terms will know we've done quite a bit of work to streamline and, and rationalise the number, and it's down to a more manageable uh, amount. Uh, during the meetings with the party representatives, uh, the schedule in Appendix 1 has been agreed by uh, everybody involved in those meetings. So again, uh, Lord Mayor, it's to get a proposer and seconder to appoint to the positions of outside bodies as detailed. And then uh, if the party nominating officer could provide the names of those people uh, as quickly as possible, because those bodies are keen uh, to get in contact with uh, their new representatives. Thank you, Chief Executive and Councillor Michael. So proposed, Lord Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Michael. Could I have a seconder, please? Oh, it's Councillor O'Han, um, Councillor Hockey, and 
some race. <laughs> uh, yeah, happy to second, Lord Mayor. Thank you. Members, thank you for that. Agenda item number eight, correspondence. I've just got 16 items of correspondence. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> that's us. Um, for, finished for our AGM, Chief Executive. That's everything concluded. That's um, members, again, thank you very much for your kind words to myself and I'm also to the Deputy Lord Mayor. And um, have a lovely evening. See you home. <laughs>